Journey into the realm of magic with Sir James Fraser's seminal work, The Golden Bow. Fraser's exploration takes us into a fascinating world of sympathetic and contagious magic, presenting an insightful categorization and explanation of these belief systems as they fit into the grand scheme of human understanding. Sympathetic magic, also known as homeopathic magic, is a fascinating concept that hinges on the basic principle of similarity. This is the belief that actions executed on a symbol or representation of something tangible can have a real and significant influence on the actual object or person. This notion is deeply rooted in our psychological process of associating certain effects with causes that appear visually similar. This is seen as a fundamental and ubiquitous human characteristic observed across cultures and societies. On the other side of the spectrum, we have contagious magic, a principle that is predicated on the concept of contact. The underlying notion here is that once two objects or individuals have been in contact, any actions performed on one will have an effect on the other, regardless of a tangible physical connection. This intriguing concept reflects our inherent predisposition to perceive enduring associations and infer causal relationships. These principles are not merely remnants of a bygone era, instead, they reverberate in our present-day superstitions, rituals, and symbolic actions. An in-depth study of them can provide us with profound insights into universal facets of human cognition. It sheds light on our perpetual attempts to comprehend and influence our environment using symbols, metaphors, and representations. However, it is crucial to approach Fraser's work with a discerning eye, acknowledging its ethnocentric biases and the linear progression model it promotes. Contemporary anthropology sees these practices within a pluralistic and relativistic framework. It views these as legitimate expressions of cognition and culture, rather than dismissing them as unenlightened or primitive. 